What's going on YouTube? This is yours truly, Adre the Plug, coming at you live with some more technical heat. I'ma just jump right back into my solo videos. I got plenty of people that keep hitting me up saying, when are you gonna get back into you know doing the e-electronic reviews? I got companies, sponsorships that I just been putting on hold because of all of the interviews. They're like, when are you gonna get right back into the lab and you know review some of our products? So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna just go back to doing my normal solo videos. Definitely go check out all the interviews that I pretty much dropped of a lot of other engineers from all across the country. But I'm about to get right back into it. I'm gonna get right back into this technical heat. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button below. Make sure y'all hit that bell below so y'all can stay notified every single time I drop new technical heat. Besides that, let's get into it, man. I'll roll the clip. All right, so in this video specifically, a lot of people actually ask me, can you do a project about a game that will also kind of tie in with like electronics? So I was like, sure, I'll just go in, create a game, code it, and then, you know, I can actually show you guys how to construct it. And, you know, you guys can just add it to your resume, add it to, you know, your project list. And I'm gonna show you guys how to construct it because I feel like on the internet, it shows how people put it together, but it's kind of already together and they're kind of just pointing out things, but they don't really zoom in on every single wire and pinpoint where everything is supposed to be connected like this one, especially for the nano version. I feel like pretty much all the small amount of videos that I did see, it was a big version of it. And the, you know, like the Uno is just so big. It'll really just be in the way, like it will take up pretty much all of this space. So I'm actually probably be one of the first people to actually show you the video of a nano version on the tube, man. So I'm gonna show you guys what's going on, show you guys how to create the snake game and show you guys how to, you know, just add a whole nother game to something that you may create or something that you wanna eventually invent. Just show you guys how to add that add on to have a game on an electronic. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into some of this technical heat. So something else I wanted to point out, right? So I was in the middle of kind of putting this thing together. And something I wanted to really just point out is the fact that you have to solder these back pins a certain type of way. So don't solder these. You don't even have to worry about these. Just make sure you get these down here. Make sure you have those nice and soldered and the pins are intact and it can actually go into the circuit because if you use the ones at the top, it won't work. It'll only work if you use the bottom. I ended up making that mistake. And actually trying to connect the top ones, I didn't understand what was the issue because I thought it was the same thing on both sides. Even though it had like some of the same lettering, same functionalities, it's totally different and it would not work. Or well, at least for the way that I actually put the project together. So let's get into it. All right, so real quick, let me actually show you guys what the project do and how the game work. So instantly I have letters, as you can see, I have one dot that's blinking. So let me just get my analog right here, kind of move it. As you can see, it's a snake game. Mind you, I'm like mirroring it, so looking at it kind of different. So yeah. Uh, there we go. All right, I didn't got three, that's good enough. So you have like this analog where you can actually play with it, move around with it. And then over here, I have my potentiometer where I can control the speed. So let me show you if I slow it all the way down, as you can see, it's barely moving. But then if I speed it up, just twist the potentiometer, as you can see, moving super quick slow it down slow it down I'll put it at like medium speed so just say like I keep playing right got it got it All right, anyways, uh, maybe shouldn't have switched the speeds. As you can see, I'm gonna actually get myself, okay, boom. As you can see, it blink, then it shows you your score. And then from there, pretty much says game over. 
and it started blinking and now you can play again and if you want again you can go back in and change the speed based off the potentiometer slow it down or speed it all the way up based on the game setting that you want i'm gonna actually get myself okay boom as you can see it blink then it shows you your score and then from there pretty much says game over okay so as promised i'm actually show you guys the whole construction process like yeah plenty of people like explain what each component do but they don't really show in details how they put it together so that's what i want to do right now just kind of just show you guys what's really going on, especially with the Nano. So I'm gonna start with my potentiometer right here. As you guys can see, As you guys can see. Let you guys see the wires, how they are connected. You can see what's going on. really want to just keep showing you guys the whole construction process so you guys can literally just mirror it and just plug and play. Okay, so jumping into the back view, I showed you guys the front view. Just show you the same exact thing, but from the back. As you guys can see, you can see exactly which one. You can see the orders based on the colors. As you guys can see right here the pins. That way, you guys can just plug and play the potentiometer. There you guys go. So you guys can see the visual. Look like that's about it.
And that concludes this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really do help my channel when it comes down to the YouTube algorithm. If you guys have any questions regarding anything, just hit me up on Instagram, hit me up on the gram, at Dre the Plug, one, two, three. And then also go check out my other YouTube channel. This is actually my second channel. My first one was called Andre Classic Cuts. I basically go in and give tutorials about all types of different haircuts. I actually show people how to do different type of things with the clippers that has never been done. And I pretty much go into detail as to why certain things happen. So definitely go check out that channel. Besides that, be on the lookout for my next content that's dropping. Be on the lookout for it because it's coming real soon. And I'm out.